hey guys welcome to the channel my name is peace i'm a makeup artist youtuber based in the city of abuja if you're new here welcome thank you for sticking to this channel and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much i love you and if you have to subscribe for this channel i don't know what you're waiting for guys you know this channel is very interesting right and you need to turn on your post notifications so that you'll be the first person to know when i drop a new video so guys please subscribe to do me a lot of favor so today i'm going to be talking about how to improve your makeup business plus how to charge how to place your charge as a makeup artist so guys um being a makeup artist i i hear some i have students that i train and i hear some of them complain that oh i do not know how to set my rate or charge or you would have people that would want to undermine you but you need to set a standard for yourself if not people will try to throw you around people will try to displace you but you need to have rules and um some tips that guide you so as so as so you'll be able to stand firm and um know what and know your place in your makeup job so i'm gonna start with how to improve your makeup business so my number one tip is know your style guys you need to know your style though. like if you want to be a skin skin type of makeup artist you need to know your style and stick to it if you want to be a loud glam makeup artist you need to know your style and stick to it as well okay you don't need to today you're doing this kind of makeup tomorrow like you need to have a signature for yourself that's what i'm talking about i don't know if you understand where i'm coming from but you need to have a signature makeup look and stick to it like when i see um i'm gonna call prominent makeup artists when you see bbc's job you know that oh this makeup was done by bb and when you see me lifer's job you know that oh this makeup was done by lifer okay i don't know if you understand what i'm trying to say now you need to know your style and stick to it so that when people see your job they will know that oh this is um faith this makeup was done by faith and it will help you to build your client's base like the people that will always come to you would be the people that love your kind of makeup do you get me so number two would be take appointments guys we're in the digital world <laughs> you need to take appointments you know that apart from make, being a makeup artist you have house errands to attend to school errands the kids that's if you're married even if you're single you still have all the other activities you would love to indulge in right so you need to take appointments so that you won't be displaced and you won't you will not disappoint your clients do you get me so you need to take appointments so that you would have a balance in your job okay so if you're if you if you're the type that goes for home service because some makeup artists do not go for home services they prefer you come to the studio if you do if you can't come to the studio fine so if you know that you work from monday to let's say saturdays and sundays you do not open your makeup store fine you need to let your clients know that okay you take appointments from monday to fridays at 9 to let's say 12 like if they walk in they might not meet you 
they might meet you so if let's say someone is having a wedding and weddings are usually saturdays or sundays you should book an appointment before then so that you'll be balanced and you know that oh around nine o'clock on saturday i have a wedding makeup to do so that you will not disappoint your clients and it brings a level of professionalism to your job so guys the next tip would be set a standard for yourself and have rules and regulation guys you need to have your rules and regulation like it's <laughs> it's inevitable you need to have your rules and regulations like you can't even function properly as a makeup artist if you do not have your rules and regulations you need to set set a standard for yourself on ig my name my my name is peace artistry and when you book peace peace artistry right i have a set of rules and regulation i send to you especially as a bride you know as a bride you would not want to distort her makeup do you get me so um okay let me say one of my rules are you would have to would have to be in a serene room in a serene environment like i wouldn't want you to be distorted or disturbed or or not being settled we have to be settled because the more you're settled as a makeup artist and the more your client is comfortable the more beautiful your job will be trust me as a makeup artist you need a serene environment you need to set your rules and regulations what you want and what you do not want okay to achieve your flawless beat and to achieve your level of professionalism okay so you need to set your rules and regulations so that your clients will know that oh when i'm going to peace artistry i need to coordinate myself i need to because <laughs> they know that oh you have your rules and regulations and you're sticking to it so they coordinate themselves when coming to you and they know that these are your rules and you always stick to them okay so you need to stick to your rules and regulation